Hey guys, Joanne here at Newegg TV. I'm here to do an overview on this Cooler Master TPC612 CPU cooler. This is basically the little brother of the TPC812 cooler, except the cooling block and the vapor chamber are smaller, and it comes with six heat pipes instead of eight, but it does come with a fan. A couple things to note before getting into the box, just some specs I wish to run down here. So this is compatible with Intel LGA 2011, 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775 sockets, as well as AMD FM1, AM3+, AM3, and AM2 sockets. And let's take a look at the fan. The, you get a 120 millimeter PWM fan, the fan speed of 600 to 2000 RPM, airflow of 24.9 to 82.9 CFM, as well as a noise level of 9 to 36 decibels. Here's a look at everything that comes in the box, the heatsink itself, which I will go into a little more detail in just a little bit. But first, a look at the other accessories. So let's start here. You get a two-year limited warranty and an, a user's manual in English, as well as in multiple other languages. Comes with Cooler Master's thermal compound, a bag of the, the uh, mounting standoffs, nuts, and screws for the for a secondary fan setup or for your AMD and Intel socket setup. And here is the back plate as well as the retention plates for the Intel LGH 1366, 1156, 1155, and 775 socket setups. However, you do use these retention plates along with the um, with these standoffs for the LGA 2011 socket setup. And this is the retention plate for the AMD setup, as well as the anti-vibration soft pads that go with the AMD installation. And over here, you get some extra fan clips. So you can go ahead and mount a secondary 120 millimeter fan for a push-pull config. And here are the rubber pads that go onto those pieces to help reduce the uh, vibration. Now, I'm gonna show you a little bit how it works. Here's the fan that comes with the cooler. It already has the clips installed on there. Here's the uh, four pin PWM connector. So as you can see, the fan screws into the clip, into these four points here, and the rubber pads go here. So I've removed this earlier so I can show you how to put it back on. Give me a second. It's very easy, it just pops on. Of course, you have to line it up. So give me one moment. Let me just set this down flat. And to remove it, same thing. Go ahead and just pop it off. However, when you remove it, you have to be careful um, because I did it earlier and I cut myself and that was a very painful experience. So that is not something uh, that you would want. And there we have it. Here's a closer look at the heatsink. I'll go over the dimensions first. It measures 6.36 inches tall and wide this way. It measures 5.28 inches and including these two pieces that jut out, it is 3.3. Uh, it measures 3.35 inches. However, just the aluminum block here, it measures two inches. And it comes with these thick aluminum fins and some grooves here, give you a better cooling. And down here, you get four copper heat pipes, six millimeter copper heat pipes, as well as this U-shaped uh, ver vertical vapor chamber. And basically what a vapor chamber is, is just a large flattened heat pipe, and it exhibits three times the fin contact area for more efficient heat transfer. And these two points here, these two pieces, are for mounting the cooler onto the motherboard. Finally, one last thing on the bottom, just peel this back real quick, is the nickel plated copper base. Oh, of course, hold on, at the top here, you can see that uh, the heat pipes thread through the top here, as well as the vapor chamber, and uh, they are capped. 
That wraps up our overview on this Cooler Master TPC612 CPU cooler. I'm Joanne, and if you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe to our New Egg YouTube channel. Thanks for watching New Egg TV, and we'll see you next time.